first. According to MidwestParkinson's.org, approximately 60,000 Americans are diagnosed with Parkinson's disease each year. KX News' Taylor Rosari spoke with a woman who lives with the disease and is helping others not let it put them on the sidelines. When I was first diagnosed, there was, I had no idea where to go and what to do. Holly Jacobs of Minot calls herself a Parkinson's ambassador. She lives every day with the disease, but has also made it her mission to help others like her in the community. I wanted to create a support group uh, system for those that are still young like myself that can get out and still do stuff, but are still seeking uh, support. Which is where the Shaken Parkinson's Up support group comes in. It's a close-knit group who spends time chatting or exercising together at the Minot Family YMCA. We'll do some fun things like today we'll play with uh, balloons and still work on balance and coordination with all that those activities. So those are the two main things we really focus on is balance and coordination and, and as well as multitasking. Some of the main symptoms of Parkinson's are regression and coordination and balance and one of Jacob's goals is to expand the already existing classes for those in her group. Any kind of exercise programming, yeah, the key to staying with it is uh, not getting bored. So on contact boxing and the taekwondo and I hope dancing somewhere along the line. Recently, Jacobs and colleagues raised $1,000 for the YMCA to purchase equipment for these classes, which program coordinator Tia Huber says will help to make everyone feel welcome. We really like to stop what could happen and help prevent uh, future injuries or anything like that. So that's kind of what we're we're all about is making sure that those people have something. And Jacob's next plan is to create regular meetings for those with Parkinson's to discuss their goals and struggles. I just really hope that we gather enough people to have the support group and I hope that we get all of our programming done. Reporting in Minot for KX News, Taylor Rosari. Jacobs hopes to hold the support group meetings starting in January. Stay tuned. Still to come, 